Do you want to make deep fakes of your favorite celebrities? In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and use pre-made celebrity face sets in your deep face lab projects. A face set is a collection of images you can use along with your own videos to create deep fakes of anyone you choose. Many members of the deep face lab community have contributed their time to extract, clean up, label, and upload a growing archive of celebrity face sets. To get started, head over to deepfakevfx.com. Go to Downloads, then Celebrity Face Sets. Here you'll find a searchable index of several hundred face sets ready to download. You can browse through the gallery pages, or you can search for your favorite celebrity and use the filters to find the ideal face set. Each entry includes detailed information about the files, a preview of the image set, and a heat map showing the distribution of alignments. You will need to log in before you can access the download links, but once you've done that, just hit the button here and you'll be taken directly to the hosted file. Next, open the folder where you downloaded the file and move it to your DeepFace Lab directory into the data source folder. In the next step, our goal is to get all of the face set images into the data source aligned folder. Most of the downloadable files will be compressed archives with a .zip or similar extension. Use your OS provided tool or an app like 7-Zip to unpack the archive, then locate the files and move them into the aligned folder. Since all these files are made and uploaded by different artists, they may not be organized the same way at first. If you download a .pack file, then just move that into the aligned folder and rename it as faceset.pack if necessary. Now you can use the data source faceset unpack script to decompress the images. Afterward, make sure to check for and remove extraneous files that might have been included in the archive. Browse the aligned folder or use the source viewer script to check the images yourself and decide if any need to be deleted or if you even want to use them at all. These face sets have a range of quality, not just in resolution, but also the time and expertise applied in their creation. You'll also want to use the exec editor to check the status of the mask before deciding to use it as is or to make a mask of your own. Now that you've verified the face set, you should be ready to begin training the deepfake, provided you've already extracted the destination material. If you need help with setting up your project and extracting the images, check out the rest of my deepface lab tutorials. At this point, you may be tempted to add more images or even combine multiple face sets, but I want to make you aware of some pitfalls you may encounter regarding duplicate file names. In my face set extraction tutorial, I showed you how to separate your sources by permanently adding a prefix to your images before extraction. However, most of the face sets you download will use the default face lab file names, so you may find that the images you try to add in will attempt to overwrite what's already in the folder. To fix this, you can use a file renaming utility or a Windows PowerShell script like this one to add a prefix to a set of images. Then you can drop them into the same folder without worrying about overwriting files. Now a word of caution here. If you attempt to use the script that recovers the original file name, each image will be renamed as it was at the point of extraction. If you've combined several face sets, then there is a chance that they will share the same original file names. It may be a good idea to completely avoid using the file name recovery script. I really hope these tips help you avoid some of the issues that I've already encountered when dealing with face sets. Before you go, I want to remind you to check out deepfakevfx.com for more downloads, and don't forget to hit that like button on your way out.